I'm Bob from Hawkswork Hardware and in this video I want to introduce you to the new range of MIDI organ control products which I've called System 1. So what is it? Well, basically it's a MIDI control system which is suitable for use on almost any console or organ but is especially useful for the larger, more fully featured console or one which is to be used headless that is, without a computer screen, keyboard or mouse. In other words, a console which behaves and is used in exactly the same way as a standalone organ. Another great feature of System 1 is that it can be used with any pipe organ which has an electric action, as it simply taps off the organ's internal wiring and monitors what the organist is doing. Because of this, it happily works alongside the original organ electrics rather than requiring their removal or heavy modification, which would be the case for other MIDI encoders. I've designed System 1 so that it will work with any size of organ or console and be capable of utilising and controlling all of the existing console controls. It does not require any programming and makes it much easier to convert a full featured organ or console for MIDI so that it can be used with any type of virtual organ software to produce either a completely virtual instrument or, in the case of a pipe organ, a hybrid instrument. For a small console with only basic functionality, it would still be more appropriate and economical to use a TUTI encoder. But as soon as there is a requirement for the virtual organ to control the operation of any of the console controls, such as lighted or motorised stops, or moving stop tabs or lighted pistons, and so on, System 1 becomes the better choice. System 1 has already been used in a number of organ installations in churches here in the UK, as well as a couple of pipe organs, both here and in the United States. Now, let's take a look at how System 1 is different to any other MIDI controller and what I believe makes it so useful to anyone building or converting an organ console. System 1 is a modular system. This means that while System 1 is a very comprehensive solution, comprising many different interfaces, you only need to buy the ones relevant to the functions desired on your console at the present time. You can always upgrade your console's functionality later simply by connecting more interfaces to more controls as your time and budget allow. Indeed, you could even start by connecting just the manuals and pedals and then later adding interfaces for lighted or moving stops and pistons. System 1 is comprised of a single control board plus multiple different interfaces. Every installation will require the control board. This board connects to the computer that runs your virtual organ software, which may be a PC, a Mac, a Linux machine, or even a single board computer like a Raspberry Pi. In order to cover all the different types of controls used on a console, there are many different interfaces available which connect to the relevant console controls on the one side and to the main control board on the other, using the readily available RJ45 Ethernet type computer cables. The main board has two MIDI interfaces, one USB MIDI which sends the MIDI for the manuals and pedal board and a 5 pin DIN MIDI connector which handles the MIDI for all the other controls. The reason for doing it like this is to minimise latency. Should the organist press a piston while playing an intricate or fast passage, the registration change will likely cause many consecutive MIDI messages to be sent to the console from the virtual organ as it changes the state of the various stops and couplers. We need to ensure that this control MIDI does not compete with wire time used by the MIDI created as the organist presses the keys. By using separate interfaces we can process both streams of MIDI simultaneously with no danger of introducing any time lag or latency. In addition to these MIDI interfaces, the main board also has a USB serial data output for monitoring what it is sending and receiving in real time. This is extremely helpful in the initial testing of the console controls as well as in the setting up of the virtual organ software. System 1 supports up to seven manuals, including the pedal board, as well as a generous number of other controls, including up to 128 lighted pistons, 
120 motorised draw stops or moving stop tabs, a two digit seven segment display usually used to indicate the capture system's current user memory level, and up to 40 individual LEDs for miscellaneous general use, say crescendo level indication or other user feedback, as well as analogue inputs for up to eight controls or expression shoes, such as swell, crescendo and so on. Because it uses only two MIDI interfaces, it greatly simplifies the task of creating a MIDI console because it interfaces with all of the controls on the console without requiring multiple USB or 5 pin in MIDI devices, such as an encoder for the keyboards, as well as a stop controller, a piston controller and so on, as would be the case if one was not using System 1. System 1 interfaces can be daisy chained together. So, for example, if you have, say, four manuals, which are all of the matrix type, you would simply use four matrix keyboard interfaces and plug a cable between each of them, with the final end of the chain being plugged into the main control board. The same is true of all the other interface types. Let's say you have two stop jams of motorised stops, one each side of the manuals, as would usually be the case. You would simply use two motorised stop interfaces and mount one in each stop jam. This greatly simplifies the wiring and does away with the need for long runs of wire between the two jams and the controller. With system one you just plug an RJ45 cable between the two boards on the two jams and another RJ45 cable from one of them back to the main control board. All this makes for a nice, neat and reliable system that is easy to create and negates the need for hundreds of long wires all around the inside of console. System 1 also offers power management control for headless systems so that you can safely turn the console and virtual organ computer on and off by a single switch as would be the case with a regular standalone instrument. It is not enough to simply cut the power to a computer at the end of a session as this can, and will at some time, cause damage to that computer. Additionally, by just removing the power in this way, any changes to registrations or other user settings will not be saved. System 1 offers a software switch feature that sends a MIDI signal to shut down the computer in a safe way, as well as indicating to the user when the computer has completed booting up and is ready to play at the beginning of a session. As you've probably guessed from this short introduction, it's going to take some time to show you all the things that you can do with System 1, and I'm going to do this with a series of new videos. Firstly, I'm going to make a video about the control board itself, and follow that with detailed videos on each of the interfaces, as well as some actual use case or case study videos on organs in which System 1 has been used. One of these has already been released, that was the DCS300 rebuild video, and I have another one, which is still at the editing stage, showing a Preludium Galanti organ, which was done a few months ago. Finally, I'd just like to say a bit about why I have developed this system. I have converted, rebuilt and midified a lot of organs and consoles since I started Hawktwork Hardware back in 2015, and each time I found myself saying that this would be much easier if I had X or Y or Z. So eventually I got round to making a note of what all those X, Ys and Zs were, and started designing a system which has them all built in. Knowing that I'm not the only person in the world that wants to rebuild or convert an organ or console, I figured it would be worthwhile making this system available commercially, in the hope that it will make the task of converting an organ or console easier and less frustrating with a much smaller learning curve than trying to convert a large or comprehensive organ using many different boards and devices from a number of different sources. Also, I have noticed that the suppliers of many of the more specialised devices, such as motorised stop controllers and lighted piston controllers, never seem to have very much information available on how to use their products, other than the regular user manual, and that some of these manuals are very difficult to understand. I like to show you, by the use of the videos I make, exactly how to use all of my different products. I hope that this makes everything more understandable and gives you a way to check back to any part of any video if you need to clarify something or check it again. Also, by including a few 
videos detailing some of the rebuilds and conversions I've done, I hope to inspire you to have a go yourself. Or if not, then at least it may amuse any armchair organ builders on a dark winter's evening. This was just a quick introductory video so you can see what System 1 is. As I say, I will be doing detailed videos on each of the System 1 interfaces in the near future. But for now, I'm going to end by showing you some pictures of the different System 1 interfaces, along with some music played on one of the organs which was rebuilt last year. And if you can think of any features that you would like to see incorporated into System 1, then do drop a comment below, as I'm sure this system will evolve over the years, and it's always good to know what people really want in this sort of product. So that's the end of this video, but I hope to see you again in the next one. So thanks for watching and here are the pictures.